everybody. It's Rachel from Garden for Cheap. And it's like Tuesday. So, three days past the shindig. Oh man, that was a blast. I can't wait to do it again. Met so many great people. And look, I'm wearing my cross that I got from there. I got that from Brett Broussard from the Bruce Broussard Homestead. And if you want one, you could probably go to their channel and they have their own website. And I'm sure they have it on there. But I don't ever take it off, Brett. I'm just saying. Not unless I'm showering. Anyhow, my plants that I should have planted before I left didn't die, thankfully. So that's what I'll be doing today, getting them in the ground and getting the other ones acclimated to getting ready to get in the ground. I also have my elderberry. I put it in a pot because I haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet. And I didn't want to keep it in water since it does have roots now. So, yeah, let's get to planting. All right. I'm planting uh, two zucchini plants in this bed, and I think I have two more that I'm going to plant in the other one. But I'm going to space these out. And if you go by the square foot gardening, you could technically plant them side by side. But uh, in my experience, they grow pretty large, so I usually try to give them two squares. But, yeah, because last year they got huge. I had to keep uh, printing them back, which is no big deal, because you can use whatever you cut off to uh, compost. So, it's pretty cool. It's not really wasting it. I'm just going to try to dig a big enough hole here. I really should have planted these before I left, but I didn't know what the weather was going to be like here while I was gone. So, I didn't want to take any chances, you know. Plant the baby. But I always have problems with my zucchini. I always have those uh, vine borers I have to deal with. But usually a zucchini plant will produce tons. One plant by itself will produce tons. So even if the vine borers get it, I usually get enough if I plant just a few plants. Because I don't use chemicals and pesticides and stuff like that. And the mosquitoes are bad today. One down, one more to go. Try to just move my top mulch out of the way. I really don't want to mix it with the dirt too much. Not dirt, soil. Let's see, just tap that bottom. But you can see those roots. It is completely ready to be transplanted. Make that a little deeper. There we go. Get the covering back. Yay! Two more things planted in the garden. I'm going to water these and get to planting some more. After, right after you transplant something, you really want to water it. It kind of helps with the shock and helps them establish themselves better. Gets some roots settled in and gets all the air pockets out. It's just real good for them. And always try not to get the leaves too wet. That way you don't have to worry about funguses and molds and whatnot. Always water from the bottom if you can help it. Of course, you know, it rains. In fact, my uh, beds are still pretty damp from the rains that we've got. Because what hit Arkansas hit, uh, hit Texas first. But yeah, let's get over to the other bed and start planting some more stuff. Well, I've just got a few more minutes before uh, my roommate starts weed eating and mowing. So I wanted to wrap up this video real quick. I got everything planted. Got some new plants that were sitting on the table getting acclimated. Actually, they've been out a couple of days. So I'll be planting them soon. But if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification. Ding, ding, ding. And I uh, hope you all have a great one. God bless and peace.